Final score from On County Ballpark, number five, Oklahoma State two, West Virginia one. Cowboys with eight hits, West Virginia with seven hits, a pitcher's duel the entire way. Anybody's game here in game one of this pivotal three-game series in the Big 12. Andrew Greedy joined alongside by Kyle Davis and Tyler Barnett with us as well. Really anybody's game, but Justin Campbell and Jacob Waters were immense. Yeah, just a very Big 12-esque game. Both teams right in line with each other. Eight, run, eight hits versus seven hits, two runs versus one run. No errors, very clean game, very fundamentally sound, but just highlighted by Waters and Campbell, just effective from both sides, throwing all pitches, just putting guys away when they need to and controlling the game. That was what I was most uh, impressed with Campbell is how he controlled when runners got on base, and that's what ultimately made them victorious. Tyler, you and Kyle both treated to uh, excellent individual performances. As a former player, what did you make of it? Uh, this was exactly what you expect out of a Friday night game, especially in the Big 12 against two, the top two big teams in the Big 12. This is exactly what you wanted to see. Uh, Oklahoma State took advantage of it on the, on the mound, and then they played a clean game in the field. All right, we caught up with Coach Mazie post game to get his thoughts. Coach Maisie, thanks for taking the time, and uh, I guess just walk us through game one of this three-game series. Man, if you're a college baseball fan, what a treat you got tonight. Yeah. That's just a, a really good college baseball game against one of the best teams in the, in the nation. And You know, when we joined the Big 12 10 years ago, that's what uh, this is what we asked for, to see great teams come in here and us compete really well against them. And that was just a, a fun game to watch. Yeah, Coach Mays, KD here. You hit the nail on the head. What an incredible treat we all had. Exceptional pitching performance from both sides. I have a feeling what you're going to say, but what are you going to say to the team after tonight? KD, you should know exactly what I'm going <laughs> to say. You've been in that huddle a bunch. Absolutely. I'm going to tell them how proud I am of yep. them. They, uh, you know, playing the first two weekends, we're a couple weekends behind in the Big 12, and, and this was a real test for us uh, with this team coming in here, and I, I think we passed it. You know, yep. they, they threw a guy that's probably the best prospect in the, all of Big 12. And, and then they fired some real bullets out of the bullpen and, and we hung in uh, with them really well. And, you know, in a game like that, you got to take advantage of every opportunity you get because you don't get many of them. And, and uh, we let a couple slip away, but uh, thought Waters pitched great. Chris Sleeper was unbelievable in relief. And uh, we competed like crazy at home plate, so really proud of our team. Yep, well said. Yeah, you guys competed great against a, a, a guy like Justin Campbell. But Jacob Waters, I, I mean, he pound for pound stayed right up there with Campbell through the first part of this game. Uh, how proud of you or, of you or him? Yeah, he, uh, he he actually didn't have as, as much control as breaking ball as he normally has, so he couldn't really get him off the fastball much. And they, they turned some fastballs around, but he limited damage and, and did a great job through over 100 pitches, yeah. which is what we need him to do moving forward. And I think he's... Uh, uh, solidified himself as a bona fide starter in the Big 12. Yep. Coach, appreciate the time. We'll let you go, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Oklahoma State's Justin Campbell gets the win. Seven innings pitch, no runs on six hits and eight strikeouts. Seventh best attendance in Mon County Ballpark history, 3,291. Join us for game two Saturday at four from Mon County Ballpark. For Kyle Davis and Tyler Barnett, I'm Andrew Caridi. We'll see you soon.